Hello everybody, this is Lorax1995, and welcome back to Let's Play Sword of Mana. Please rate, subscribe, and comment. So, um, uh, today we're, we're gonna be, um, killing Cyclopses. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna call this my, not really, I'm not gonna call it, but this is pretty much my pain in the ass episode, because this literally took me fucking, like, three hours to record. No joke. So let's head over to, uh, Wendell Armory. So I'll meet you on the way over there. So I had to take a quick break because I noticed that I found a dark geode on my way over there. Which is cool because I totally did not see it earlier. So I thought that was nice, so then I'll meet you at the armory. So um, we're going to go over to Wendell. Um, just a little heads up. Um, throughout this video I'm going to be uh, fast forwarding a lot like in my transportation because otherwise I'd never get this done. Like, seriously, this episode took me a long time, because we have to go all around the fucking map. Like, we have to go all over the place, so... This episode and tomorrow's episode will be, um, doing a lot of fast-forwarding and editing, because, um... Yeah, we have a lot, we have a lot, of, a lot of places to travel to, and only ten minutes to fit it in. So, yeah, I'm sorry, but that's what we gotta do, because... These Cyclopses are a bitch to spawn... And even so, their drop rates, like for their, um, their aerolites, are really bad. You know, they, they suck. And um, you'll see that later on today in this episode. Yeah, no, because um, I learned my lesson. I have to uh, narrate these videos after I'm done recording them, because if I don't, my microphone gets all staticky, and it's really lame, and I don't want you guys to have a hard time hearing me. So, be aware of that, and um, I hope you enjoy the episode. So, um, let's see... We have to go to the Gaia's cave, like, right before the entrance of the Gaia's cave, and if you look at my mouse over there, it's right over there, so we need to get from point A to point B. And you also have to notice where my cursor is. It has to be on Mana Holy Day, during the daytime, and it's one screen before you enter the Gaia cave. So, let's go and level up real quick, and then we'll take care of the, uh, light Cyclops. But yeah, go up there, it's the Gaia cave. So now let's kill him. <laughs> Motherfucker! He's got nothing on me. Not even a hit. Oi. Yeah, I missed. <laughs> nice. Okay, let's do some roulette. Ooh, nice. And we got the air light. Awesome. So now let's head over to uh, the Gaius Cave. Because there's another... Um, Cyclops in there. So I had a, had a mind freeze there. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end of the cave. Because the um, Cyclops is in this last room. And um, to kill these guys, you can't use a lance on these things. But he'll usually spawn in this part of the area, so... There he is. Like the other one, it's really easy to kill these guys. They're not hard at all, at least at our level. Lore knows that back then, in our, like, teens, th th these, these guys were, like, nearly impossible. They have, like, almost 500 HP. So they're, you know, they would they would have really sucked back then. But now they're a walk in the park. So, alright, cool. that was close. So now we get the other arrow light, the V-neck. V-neck, <laughs> Okay, so, um, let's get the map again, where we gotta go next. Um, we're gonna head over to the, uh, town of Jad, because there's a, um, another Cyclops in the, uh, desert, and, um, I gotta tell you guys right now, this one, so far, so far, has been the biggest pain in the ass to get, because it spawns over here, but we have to kill these, these, um, Cobras, and look right now, I'm at 287 Cobras, now, um, I'll meet you when I actually find the Cyclops. So here he is, and I gotta show you how many I actually had to kill to get to get this guy to spawn. I mean, it's ridiculous. This is how long it really takes. So if you're on a Game Boy, good luck, you guys. But we're at 398. That's almost more than a hundred fucking Cobras just to get this fucking Cyclops. I mean, no joke. It's a real pain in the ass to get these guys. Not exaggerating. It took me forever. That's why I'm uploading the video so late at night. So you probably you guys won't probably see it till later in the day, but I'm telling you, this is not 
quick and easy. So, um, cool. We got this air light, and to get here is a real bitch, but you'll find it. It's the room right before the... It's the screen before all the polter boxes, if you go south. So, yeah, just... Just go to where the polter boxes are, and then just go north, and that's where you'll get to this area. So next, I'll meet you at the Miasma Glen. For the next, um, Geode... I mean, not Geode, Cyclops. So we have to go to the Wind... The Wind Cyclops, and, um... Yeah, we're gonna kill him. So I have a funny story about where I'm going right now. I was sitting here in that screen that we just passed by for an hour, literally an hour, trying to kill those fucking bees, and I couldn't figure out why the hell he wasn't spawning. Well, it turns out that I was in the completely wrong area, like this screen right over here. I was here for almost an hour, and it sucked. But you have to go around a little bit more. I'll show you how to get there. But right now, let's just kill this guy. Fucking wind cyclops, I hate you. And this is where we ran into some trouble because you'll see you now. You might encounter this. He might not drop the fucking aerolite. And if this case, if you're on a Game Boy, it's kind of it's kind of hard for you guys because you know you guys can't really do anything about it. But for me, because I'm on an emulator, there's a ways to get around it. But um, yeah, as you'll see soon. He won't he won't drop the aerolite at all times. You might get stuck with a polter box. But luckily, we have safe states. <laughs> I know. Whatever. I don't care. Shoot. It must suck on the on a giveaway, because then you have to grind out all over again. It's going to suck if you guys are trying to get these. But it's well worth it. Oh, again? Fuck. Well, let's just go back to the uh, screen. Go. I would edit it out, but then I would kill off my video, so... Sorry if you had to see that. But, um, yeah, these things are no joke, but the items that you get in return are well worth it. I mean, you get some really good shit out of these aerolites that you trade in. Nice stuff for forging and tempering your equipment, which will make you, like, a pimp, because you'll be fucking one-shotting everything. So now we've got the Ankh aerolites. Now let's check out where we want to go to next, after we level up. Shit, fucking 58 all 53 already. That's how much grinding I've been doing, because, I mean, like I said, these things are a bitch to get. But I want to show you how to get to there, because I took, a, I took a couple different turns, and it was hard to find. So first you want to go up here, and instead of taking a left, you want to go right. Up these hills. If you can just jump up there. Fuck. Remember back then, these clowns were a real pain in the ass, too, because my wisp was really weak. Not no more. But you want to go up here. I'm just going to run past these guys, because the magic sucks in this game. Go left. Then you're going to want to go north up through here. And, um, go. And that's how you get to the one room that we were just at for the uh, Cyclops where you're looking for. So now let's go check out the map and see where we have to go to next. Um, let's see. You know what? I want to go to, um, Ish. Yeah. Because we have to go for the uh, Dark Cyclops next, which is um, what I think is the most, not really toughest, but pain in the ass in the way that you'll die a lot if you're not careful. Like, I died literally, like, I think seven or six or seven times because the enemies that are in the area are just a real bitch to, f to kill. Like, these skeleton guys, fuck you. Fuck you. I'm flipping you off right now. I hate these guys. They are such a bitch to kill. And I'll show you why in a, in a little bit. They suck. They really do. So, um, we need to come here on Mana Holy Night, not Holy Day. So, um, yeah. That's something we gotta change. So I will be right back on Mana Holy Night, which is a couple... Just a couple, like, screens off. So let's go ahead and just do that real quick. Alright, so now it's night time. And I'm um, just crossed over this little bridge. But by the way, these things, these bridges will only be here at night. So if you're here during the day and can't get by, well, it's because they're only at night. So here's where I'm going to show you why these guys suck so much. They look innocent, easy to kill. But you see that blue one right there, the guy who's glowing? 
Yeah, that's what you have to be careful of. If you touch him when he's glowing, he's going to do a lot of damage. And if you were fast forwarding like I was earlier, you'd be doing it so fast and you'd be hitting him and then you'll die. Just watch. Carefully check that out. Oh my god. Two fucking 26 is It's a bitch. But now let's go and get this son of a bitch now. He has to die. Because I have no patience for these motherfuckers anymore. No patience. Man, I didn't save. I hope... I get a, a fucking okay. Oh shit. Oh fuck. Oh my god, it dropped anyways. Literally, it dropped. Well, I'm out of time for this episode of Let's Play Sword of Mana. I'm sorry I was rushed because it's hard to fit all this in here. So please rate, subscribe, and comment. Thank you for watching. Please have a great day.